With the launching of Type 003 Fukien aircraft carrier earlier this year, China became the second country in the world with most aircraft carriers after the United States. Indigenously built Type 003 Fukien is the first catapult-enabled aircraft carrier of PLA Navy. Despite the marvelous achievement in this field, China is still far behind the United States in terms of both quantity and quality. The U.S. Navy is presently operating 11 nuclear-powered carriers, whereas Chinese Navy is operating only two conventionally-powered carriers with third one under sea trials. However, with the current speed and technological advancements, defense analysts believe that by end of 2027 Chinese Navy will achieve a breakthrough in nuclear-powered carrier technology. In order to meet national security needs, Chinese Navy is expected to be operating around five to six aircraft carriers by the end of this decade. While all existing carriers are conventionally powered, the next logical step for the country's military ambitions is to build a nuclear-propelled aircraft carrier. Though yet not confirmed, the speculations are being made that China is working on nuclear technology to power its upcoming Type 004 aircraft carrier. In this regard, China State Shipbuilding Corporation has already revealed its ambitions. However, no public announcement by the Chinese Navy has been made so far regarding the shipyard which will be responsible to build the most advanced aircraft carrier of the country. Moreover, the necessary regulatory permissions have also not been publicly issued to any shipyard to attain, explore and handle the sensitive technology. As per Chinese media, the design work on the fourth carrier has already been completed and carrier is expected to be launched by 2025. As per Western military experts, the upcoming Type 004 aircraft carrier is expected to be nuclear-powered because China wants to have a world-class navy and wants to achieve long-range power projection capabilities. However, many Chinese military analysts believe that China has no need to operate a nuclear-powered carrier. Though, the nuclear-powered aircraft carriers have more power to operate catapult launch systems, can deploy more powerful aircrafts and have longer endurance. They are still very expensive to build, operate, and maintain. In comparison, the conventionally-powered carriers can be built more quickly, cheaply and require less maintenance. However, conventional carriers require frequent replenishments and forward base support. Presently, only two countries are operating the nuclear-powered aircraft carriers including the United States with its Nimitz-class and Gerald R. Ford-class vessels and France with its only Charles de Gaulle-class nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Based on the advancement in military technology during the last two decades, the Chinese transition to nuclear carriers seems imminent and quick. China has already built naval nuclear reactors for its attack and ballistic missile submarines. The experience in developing and operating nuclear submarines will be quite fruitful for nuclear-powered carrier. Moreover, the advanced heavy aircrafts, weapons systems and electromagnetic launch systems require extensive eclectic power which can be easily generated by the nuclear reactors. With the desire to become the world-class naval power, China's next move to attain the prestigious nuclear-powered carrier seems certain. Thanks for watching. Please like and share to support.